Hey guys, it's Sarah, and this is Tips and Tricks Tuesday. <clears throat> For some reason, it doesn't matter where I'm at, or whose house I'm at, or what room I'm in, I always have the worst lighting ever, so I apologize for that. <laughs> um, this week's tip and trick is about shoes, and it's funny because I have watched a video with the sleeve singer who discussed shoes, and I thought um, that was on my list of things to talk about, and I thought, well, this would be a perfect day to talk about shoes. So, I want to talk about the shoes that I have and just some tips, um, just a few tips about shoes. So, um, some of us, I started exercising in September of 2011, at the end of September 2011, and then I was sleeved on um, April 26, 2012. So, I had a good, I don't know what that is at, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So I had a good eight months of working out before I ever um, start. I mean, that I had started this journey. I started eight months before I actually was slaved exercising. Um, in that eight months, I really didn't lose any weight, um, but I attempted to lose weight and to work out. And to be honest with you, had I lost any significant amount at all, um, significant meaning probably 20 pounds. I definitely, more than that, I probably would not have been slaved. Um, I was on the fence about it and, uh, I don't know. I just probably wouldn't have been slaved. I could be wrong. Um, I, you know, that's one of the reasons I was busting it so hard in the gym and I was really trying to make a change for myself and my life, um, without having to have weight loss surgery. Um, and looking back, I know that this has been the best for me, that it, you know, anything I ever tried to do on my own just wasn't happening. This is not what this blog is about, so sorry. Blog. Blog. Um, so shoes. But I knew from the beginning that owning a good pair of shoes was very important. And I want to say that um, shoes are not only really important, but you really, 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 especially if you're a person who wears tennis shoes every day like I am, need to have separate tennis shoes. You need to have a workout pair of tennis shoes, and you need to have a wear everywhere you go tennis shoes. Um, even if they're the same brand, it doesn't matter, but you need to have two separate, because when you put so much wear and tear from daily use, and I'm hard on shoes anyways, um, on shoes, you, re it's really, you go, you really need a separate pair for working out. Um, for a lot of reasons, but when you start out so big, when or not even just because you're big, but just the impact alone that you put on your feet uh, during workouts and such, you really need a good pair of shoes and a good sturdy pair of shoes. Something else that you need to know is that you really need new tennis shoes about every six months. Um, and this last pair that I bought... I bought in October, so I'm probably October. Well, here we go again. I'm nearing my uh, time to get new shoes, but I'm probably not going to because I have designated this last pair of shoes I bought just workout shoes, and the pair of tennis shoes I bought before that, six months before that, I wear those on a daily basis. So. Those are some things you need to know that really, realistically, and you can research it, It they suggest that you buy a new pair of tennis shoes once every six months, especially if you're working out hardcore and you're putting the wear and tear on them. Um, if you are not, if you are not switching, if you don't have two pairs of tennis shoes, then you definitely, 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 definitely need to be buying one pair every six months. Um, and it can get expensive, and I know that. But anyways, uh, at the beginning of my journey, Shortly after I had weight loss surgery, well, was it before that? Yeah, it was before that. It was before I had weight loss surgery. I went to a place that we have in Tennessee, and I don't know if you guys have those or not. I'm sure there's places that are similar to this, even if you don't have this specific one. We don't have any. We do not have one anywhere close to me, but we have this store called uh, Fleet Feet. Fleet Feet. F L E E T Feet. Google it. 
Um, if you don't have one anywhere close to you, the closest one to me is three and a half hours away, then I would suggest that you find something that's similar to it. So basically what you do is you go in and um, you don't have to have an appointment, but when you go in, sometimes there's a waiting list, sometimes there's not. I've never had to wait very long, but somebody greets you and they one person meets with you and they measure your foot and your shoe size. And keep in mind, guys, a lot of people on this weight loss journey really need to have their foot me measured periodically because they're, they're, the size of their foot changes. Mine has not, but it really, so far mine has not. But, um, that re and I really thought that it would, but it has not. I'm still eight and a half wide. Um, but if you need, you, so you, you do need this. So they measure your foot, um, measure both of your feet. They watch, they make you roll your pants up if you've got on pants. They watch you, your gait, how you walk back, forward and backwards. Um, they watch, they want to watch you from behind and from the front. And then, um, they'll ask you a few questions. If you have any problem areas or anything, or, uh, what activity level that you're at, like things that you're going to be doing, like if you're running or not running. And then they bring you out three or four different pairs of shoes that they have selected that will be best for your foot. Love it. It's great. Um, I would suggest that for anybody. And again, I'm sure that if you guys don't have a fleet feet near you, there are probably uh, shoe stores that do those things. And I would really suggest that. It's been really beneficial and really helpful. Uh, the first pair of shoes that I bought the first time that I started going to those, the first two pair were a New Balance, and the first pair of New Balance I got there, and the second pair I bought online because I bought the exact same, not the exact same color, but the same style that I had and size that I had bought the time before. But then after I lost 100 pounds, I decided that I needed to have my foot measured again uh, because I thought I may have lost some weight in my foot. So I went back to Feet Fleet. They went, they did everything over again. Or Fleet feet. What am I saying? Feet fleet. Fleet feet. They did everything. My measurements and everything were still the same. So the second pair that I got while there were Brooks. These are the Brooks Ghost S. Love these. Absolutely love these. Um, and I use these just for working out, guys. And sometimes it's a hassle. Um, and there are days, obviously, like I'll go to work in my workout clothes or you know uh, so I, I usually I mean most of the time I'm just using these for workout but there are days where I keep them on longer than that um, like if I'm working out and then I'm leaving to go somewhere else a lot of times I won't change my shoes but I try to because I want to save these and make these last as long as possible because shoes are expensive um, I think that these ran about 120 bucks but I got for 120 bucks I got that whole experience um, so it wasn't just the shoes. And I looked online, and um, I think that this is what these shoes ran anyways. Um, but anyway, so tip and trick of the day is you need good tennis shoes. Um, research it. I can remember that I researched before uh, and Googled best tennis shoes for big people <laughs> that are working out. Uh, and And... There were several things. I think New Balance was one of them. New Balance comes in a wider shoe. Uh, so that was something. And Brooks, I can't remember if this is a wide or if they just are wide. No, this is actually a wide. So this is actually a wide. And the next time I need a new pair of tennis shoes, I probably won't go back to feet, fleet feet. I'll probably just order these. Um, but I know now what size and style that I like and need. So... That's my tip of the day, guys. Tennis shoes. Get good tennis shoes because they are so important for your feet and your legs and just <laughs> overall ease of working out. Huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Okay, guys. Have a great week. See you on, probably not on Thursday for a weigh-in. Uh, I'll probably have to do it Friday or Saturday because I won't be home Thursday, but um, I'll be at my best friend's house. So, and my mom's having surgery. So, anyways, have a great week. Bye.